How hard is it to dump the trash into a bin? Release the Kraken. Come on, squirrels. Time for your 15 minutes of fame. Yes, another Pulitzer for the portfolio. I've never seen Samuel wearing shades. And what's with this other crap? I can see that Samuel's concerned, but does he need a poster? Hey, Samuel. Oh. Sorry to pry, Samuel, but why are there photos of Rachel Amber in your shed? I'm curious about her. Sorry to pry, she says while prying. Now everybody wants to know about her. I know people who cared for her. People who are looking for her. If she can be found. Like you, that's the nature of mystery. It's no mystery that you have her pictures. Yeah, she gave out headshots like squirrels chasing food. Keep on prying, Max. Sounds like you have a lot of time on your hands. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. Dream of it. Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep, got my lottery ticket right here. It 
smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware oh, makes me feel 13 again. Gross. This guy has serious corners. Hello there to you! Such a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. That's funny, our family never went well watching. It looks fun. I don't want to go that way. Excuse me. Can you believe this town? How long have you lived here? Long enough to know that Arcadia Bay will be a ghost town in a few years. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. This town is more like a mystery to me. You're young. You'll get over it. I wonder if they explained that snow. Snow? Well, that's a good start to the story. Excuse me. Can you The snow. Oh, glo I keep reading. The paper. You mean Rachel Amber? I. Hello. Yes, I... I could tell. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh... Rachel around a lot. Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. And I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right. 
But you can't save everybody. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I might be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead, like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a Prescott. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Stop that! Stop! No barky. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. I wait. I'd love to learn more, but... I don't want to go that way. A 
I'll just keep waiting and hope the bus comes. I bet she's seen Arcadia Bay go through a lot of changes and secrets. Everything. You'd never know how weird this town is by these postcards. I would buy a shirt, but they're so damn tourist. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. That graffiti has been here forever. Thank you, redneck poet.
I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over and out. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Isn't everything in here with an eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. Why are you being so rude? Because I've been on the road for 12 hours straight, hopped up on coffee and diet pills, carrying two tons of nitrate, and all I want to do is eat a quiet breakfast and stare out the window. Do you mind? Uh... Pardon. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. Nope, I don't want to go there. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <sighs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please.
hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. I don't want to go that way. Boom, only three bottles left. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. I don't want to intrude, but I was here. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. One more bottle to go. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. Nope, I don't want to go there. 
Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? Oh yes. Once I figure out exactly how my power works. A god must doth know these things. Amen. And while you build an empire, I'm there to keep you on the path of badassness. And fun. Spin, rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. <laughs> That's my Chloe. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road? You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, we're aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot, 
How about using that junker for a target now? How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! <laughs> You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Max, can we talk? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole, and I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. A 
A periodic table. <sighs> Wish I knew what periodic means. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Think, big brain, think. Or nothing will happen at all. This can't be that hard. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want from me? I want you to be honest. Nobody believes me anyway. Stop acting so real. Being on a viral video does that. Maybe this is your way of getting attention. That's what I mean, Mr. Jefferson. You just don't get it. Just leave me alone. You have to talk to me, Kate. Why? It's all over, like me. Knock off this martyr crap. What do you want? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters are- I miss Rachel too. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. Listen. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Vogue. 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 Dana, you are out of control. Turn left, then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You are
bring me the brain, Igor. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? Asking me if have that either. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Hey, Warren. Maxwell. Asking me if have daddy. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Hey, what? Maxwell's asking me. Have daddy. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Weird science. Hey, War. Max. Asking. Have that. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. Thanks again for taking a stand against Ka Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Hey, what? Max, asking. Have that. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine, not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. That was fun.